A local teen looking to take the next steps towards independence after high school is reaching out to the community for help. Medical reporter Liz Bonus tells us how a four-legged friend could connect him to the entire world. I am really interested in doing graphics and logos. Michael Overberg says he loves designing things and dogs. He'd like more than anything to get a service dog like this one named Donatella. I think the ideal dog would be able to help me with a lot of things. Opening doors, um, turning on lights, um, I guess picking stuff up off the ground. Michael recently finished high school and he's doing great and plans to pursue a career in some of that graphic design. But he admits that now being out of high school, there's a little bit of isolation being away from your friends. And that's where he said a dog could help a lot. You see, Michael was born with a genetic condition called Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD. My muscles are slowly getting weaker. And that's why his family and friends are now asking for your help. They need to raise about another $7,000 to help Michael get a service dog trained for Michael's needs with DMD. It would come from Four Paws for Ability. But the money that they raise obviously goes to the training of the dog, everything to do with the dog. And, you know, that includes food, um, equipment, trainer time, um, housing. Michael's Indian Hill High School class raised money for him this past year. They left some money for school and then they stepped up and wanted to donate $1,000 to Michael's dog. You see, they watched how DMD changed Michael's world. I used to walk so and do a lot of things on my own. Now, perhaps all of us with a simple donation for a special service dog could help make this new world a better place. If you can help, I've got more of Michael's story on my Facebook page and at local12.com. In Kenwood, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. As always, great story there from Liz. So it takes about $40,000 in total to train a service dog through Four Paws for Ability. The families who benefit raise about half of that.